combustion of fossil fuels like gasoline and diesel to transport people and goods is the second largest source of CO2 emissions. Despite all the improvements made in vehicle efficiency, transport is still the only sector constantly increasing its greenhouse gas emissions. The good news is that each percent transferred from cars to public transport brings a reduction of 260,000 tonnes of CO2 each year. Streetlife aims to help achievement of climate policy objectives by lowering CO2 emissions. We want to give people the information and information technology they need to gradually make the switch to sustainable means of transport and reduce the number of private car journeys for a significant improvement of quality of life in our cities and on the streets. Street Life uses visual formats of real-time information to make use of public transport systems more planable, more convenient and much safer for cyclists too. The various departments in a city like transportation, the environment, city planning, climate and health are largely interdependent and can only be considered as a whole. This is why Street Life takes an integrative approach that feeds transport data into traffic management systems. To this end, Street Life has developed an innovative blueprint architecture adaptable for smart cities. This architecture is based on open service-oriented concepts that enable connectivity between all the various existing systems and devices in a city. The effectiveness of the solution has been verified in an in-depth evaluation of three city pilot projects involving end-users. The Rovereto pilot project aimed to reduce traffic pressure in the city centre by persuading commuters to use the wide array of sustainable mobility services. The approach was focused on improving user acceptance of a Journey Planner app by revamping it with dynamic mobility policies and gamification features with challenges tailored to each player's profile. The approach has been evaluated in various situations such as big events, a long-running mobility game and commuter carpooling in a high-density industrial area. The results are highly promising, both in terms of end-user acceptance and of impact made towards more sustainable mobility. The two-prong aim of the Berlin Street Life pilot project was to encourage car drivers to make greater use of pedal power and, at the same time, to enhance the safety of bike paths. Our Street Life app doesn't just display mobility aspects like distance and journey time, but also shows transport effects like CO2 emissions, which are vital for letting users know the environmental impact of the mobility decisions they make. The special highlight of the pilot project was the embedded Berlin Bike Rider game, where contestants could collect points to be subsequently traded for prizes like a genuine Berlin city tree. The combination this blend of improved presentation of transport information and integrated gaming meant that our test group took one in two of their journeys by bike, a significantly higher ratio than the overall Berlin average of one in every six journeys. What's more, the test group in the Berlin pilot project also made an invaluable contribution to improving the safety of cyclists on Berlin's roads. Given its particular geography and history, there's a lot of daily traffic moving through Tampere, Finland's fastest growing city. Street Life aimed to promote commuter acceptance of a new interactive journey planner which integrates all real-time information on public transport in one mobile app. The real-time ability of the app also meant that local mobility management could divert passenger flows to lesser crowded routes on the fly by directly changing the mobility policy. Trials in a real-life production environment have shown that the combination of innovative mixed reality interface and integrated game helped catch and keep the interest of users. Users found the app easy to use and the game generated much market interest. Die in Street Life in unterschiedlichen Städten durchgeführten Feldtests the field tests conducted by Street Life across a broad spectrum of cities have demonstrated that real-time information and visuals in combination with mobile end devices and a gaming format have positive effects on people's awareness of the environmental impact of their mobility behavior.